Hi, this is Catherine Rosa. I'm with Boarding Geek here at Spiel 2016. I'm sitting with Ayar Alvaer from 2D6EE Games, and he's here to talk about First to Find. So, tell me about this game. Looks like we're in the middle of a forest. Yes, it, it's a family game about geocaching. You oh, know about fun, it. fun, yes. <laughs> well, and uh, it's quite simple, as I said, family game, and the goal is to be the first one who finds the cache, naturally. And the gameplay revolves all about uh, moving and searching. So, uh, what, what you do on your, on your turn is that you move. And when you move on a road, for example here, then you can turn it over and discover where you are. So that's a dead end, unfortunately. So now, now it's another player's turn and the game goes on until... Yeah, that's... that's okay. Now they can choose which way they want to be this crossing. So, and they can step here. And so also, let's say, here's one player goes, oh, and that's a swamp. Well, what now happens is that when, when you're in the nature, you step into a swamp, well, you're quite a bit wet. So, indeed. Indeed. So, you lose your next turn because you have to a, a bit dry yourself and... And it's and a, a little slow going through a swamp too. So. Yeah. So, and then it's next player and next. So, the, uh, like uh, the real geocaching, it all revolves about uh, finding the coordinates. And normally you're looking, I can show you, coordinates are like these. That, that's the east and here I know it should be here. That's the north one. So at, the, at this moment the cache is located and the crossing of these coordinates. Interesting. Now, uh, before you actually start the game you can choose from three different cache types you'd like to search. First is the normal, ordinary geocache. Then there is a multi-cache where you, where you don't know how many stages there are. And finally, there's also a mystery cache. And they're all a bit, a bit different, but they all are still about finding the coordinates and being the first to run on the roads to get there. So, about, uh, uh, briefly about the... Uh, let's start with the multi-cache. Well, you don't know how many stages there are, so... Let's say you have found these coordinates, and here's the first stage. Now when somebody steps here... Oh, it happened to be in lake. So that's the... Then it should be removed here, because you can't have a stage in the middle of lake. So now you roll these two dice. And, and again, these show the next location. Of, of next replication of stage, but I rolled really bad at the moment because they would go off the grid. I should move five steps in one direction and six steps in another, but I can't at the moment. So I, I must re-roll this. Now it's better. So it's, it should be five. So one step in one direction and five in another. So now, yeah, one and one, two, three, four, five. Now, uh, now this player has set the new stage for multi-cache. No. And the next one, who, will get, who gets the steps here, turns it over, discovers what we have. Oh, there's a crossing. And now, uh, this player can... First, he must check if this is the final location of cache. So, he rolls, and if it's a one... Well, I'm, I'm quite lucky at the moment. Then it's the final cache and he has found it and he's the winner. But if it's higher than one, let's say four, then he must now roll again. Where is the next step? So, and now he can choose one and one, two, three. So, now everybody rushes here and again tries to find. Yes, in the middle of the road. Uh, no, 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 now it's one or two already. Ah, so the so, earlier so it, it, in the it, it, game, yeah. the harder it yeah, is. Yeah, it gets simpler and, and simpler. And it gets easier and easier and easier yeah. to find as the game progresses. And now you didn't find it, it's another stage ahead. So, so you're rolling again, yeah, so too. You're rolling again. One, two, three. Well, he has dried up already, so he has stepped here. And here's a road going. So on his next turn, he will be here. 
Oh, it's again in the lake. So we'll put it here. And now we roll six or no, not here, and again, and the game goes on until somebody finds it finally. There can't be more than seven sta stages because if, if the last stage, yeah, you'll yeah, get to. Uh, you'll get anyway. Mm -hmm. So that's the multi cash. With the ordinary cash, it's even simpler, it's less running. Because after you find the first coordinate, it doesn't matter which one, north or east. Then you can start searching for the cache from this row. Let's say you found this row. And if you're here, you just turn it over and look if there is a cache. And this means you roll a dive. And with five or six, you have found it. No. Now no, somebody else can search you. No. And there's a total of six cards here. Yeah, so six cards, but four are discovered already. So only three are left. No, when, uh, when somebody discovers the second one now, the second part of the coordinate, then also this row can be searched. But if nobody finds in either this nor this, then the whole other forest can be searched. But then only with rolling of six you can find it. Okay, so then the coordinates are totally off and... So there's a few different modes to play the game. Yeah. A nice little family game. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. That is First to Find from 2D6E Games.